Make a cute and easy Bo Peep costume from Toy Story 4. Please like this video and follow my page. You will need a blue dress with no waist seam, solid pink fabric for the bow, 2 inch wide pink elastic, plastic snaps and a snap setter, and lots of 1 inch wide light blue ribbon. Make sure that the neckline of the dress is wide enough to be pulled up from the feet and over the shoulder. You are going to turn the dress into a romper. I used a dress and a pair of leggings from my daughter's wardrobe to mark the waist and then mark the legs of the romper. Use the legs of the leggings or pants as a guide for the legs of the romper. Make sure that you're giving enough space for each leg on the side and don't make them as skinny as leggings. Draw a nice curve for the inside and the waist. When I marked it, I accidentally marked it on the outside of the dress and I had to go back and remark it on the inside of the dress. So make sure you are marking it on the inside of the dress to help you sew. Line up the side seams of the dress and the hem so that everything is flat and in place and then pin along the line you marked so that you can sew around that curve and create a romper out of the dress. Next, you're going to sew along that line that you marked and make sure you're using a good zigzag stitch. I like to use a pretty wide zigzag stitch since this seam will be under a lot of stress and will be need to be stretchy and strong. Now you're going to cut right next to the zigzag stitch to remove the arch piece of fabric from the middle and it will make it so the legs can move and you will have a romper now instead of a... The inseam should be able to stretch so that the child can move when wearing the costume. Next, you're going to sew a basting stitch along one edge of your light blue ribbon. It should be about one eighth of an inch from the edge and should go the whole length. I probably have a yard and a half of blue ribbon that I'm sewing the basting stitch up. Next, you're going to cut your ribbon with the basting stitch into pieces that are twice as long as the circumference of one leg and each leg needs three of those. I did find it hard to gather the ribbon when the basting stitch was cut short. If gathering is hard for you, then I would sew the basting stitch after cutting the ribbon. Now you're going to gather each ribbon piece and pin it onto the leg of the romper. I found that it was easiest to pin each raw edges of the ribbon onto the romper at the inseam and then gather the piece so that it matched the width of the leg. I did that for each leg. I did it three times so each leg has three ruffles and I left one inch in between each ruffle. Now that the ribbons are all pinned and gathered, you need to sew them onto the romper. I slid the leg onto the arm of my sewing machine and I used a regular straight stitch, regular length, and I just sewed around each ribbon to attach it to the leg of the romper. My gathers were adjusting and kind of moving as I was sewing, but I didn't mind since it's just a costume and it didn't have to be perfect with the gathers distributed perfectly evenly. Next, trim all the thread tails 
and all the extra threads from gathering the ribbon. Next, we're going to make the pink belt. Fold the elastic over one half an inch and pin, and make sure that when you do each side, one is folded towards the front and one is folded towards the back. To secure the folded edge of the elastic, you are going to sew a rectangle and follow each line one eighth of an inch from the edge and stop at each corner to pivot so you have a nice sewn rectangle that keeps that fold in place. Next, you're going to apply plastic snaps with a snap setter. I like to have a snap on each side of the belt since it's so wide on the top and on the bottom. And I didn't have all the matching sets of my snaps, so I used red for the outside and purple for the inside. Last of all, you need to make a giant pink bow for Bo Peep's hair. I cut a large rectangle that was 13 inches wide and 9 inches tall. Then I cut a piece that was 4 inches wide by 4 inches tall. With right sides together, sew two edges of the square together with a straight stitch. Then, with right sides together, sew the two long edges of the large rectangle together with a straight stitch. Then turn each piece right side out Then fold your bow with right sides together and line up the short edges of both the small piece and the large piece. Sew each short side of the large rectangle and the small rectangle with a regular straight stitch. Turn both the large rectangle and the small rectangle right side out. Make sure you trim any thread tails. Then you are going to add a pleat to the large rectangle by folding it in place. You can choose how you want your pleat to go. And then slide the small square over the bow to hold the pleat in place. Then grab an alligator clip and slide it into the back of the bow. To assemble the costume, put the romper on your child, add a pink bow to their hair with a ponytail, and then put the pink belt around their waist. They can also wear black Mary Jane shoes, and you can add a shepherd's crook for the perfect accessory. Enjoy seeing a little Bo Peep running around. I can't wait to see your Bo Peep costumes and thanks for watching.